guys and gals, welcome back to K6 Outdoors. Let's spend a few minutes talking about the Hustler Raptor SD. I've had it now for, well, this is my fifth mowing season, and I want to give you guys my update on this. It's got 197.1 hours as we speak. I want to give you guys an update on the mower, let you know how it's working out for me, what I still recommend it, what problems I've had, and what's been good about it. So if you guys will stick around and see what's up with the mower and how well it's treated me or how poorly it's treated me the past five seasons. So let's go. Well, they just got the yard snipped up. I didn't do the entire thing. I'm just mowing the section here that the grass is growing in because the rest of this is all burnt up. Anyways, the mower still cuts great. Um, that is one of the positives here. So let's take a little closer at the mower itself, which is dirty. You know, I mean, she needs washed up and blown off like I normally do at least. Every time I get done mowing, I usually take the leaf blower and blow everything off and clean all the covers out. So. Let's talk about some of the things that have gone well. So again, like I mentioned before, as it sits right now, it has 197.4 hours on it. This is the fifth, the middle of the fifth full mowing season. I've had this Hustler Raptor SD. This has the 54 inch deck on it. I will put uh, another video up here above to something similar I've done in the past. It also has the Kohler 7000 series 25 horse engine on it with the smart choke. So positive side here, what's gone well. Um, the mower has been very reliable so far. I haven't had any major issues. The only um, thing that's ever really let me down or stopped me from mowing is one of the tensioner springs out of the deck broke. That's a pretty common thing that happens. Mine didn't break until about the 145-ish hour mark it broke last year, but a simple $7 part from Amazon got me back up and running. So that wasn't a big deal in that regard. Overall, it's been a very good running mower. Um, it's relatively fuel efficient. I can basically get two full mowings out of one uh, tank of fuel, which is about, oh, uh, the house takes up some of it. But in total, I have 62,000 62, square feet of property, which is like 1.4 acres. Um, we gotta take out some space for the garage and the house. But anyways, I can mow two full rounds with the, the fuel on this. With one tank of fuel, I can mow two full rounds, which is pretty good. Yeah, but overall, it's been a very positive experience with this um, lawnmower. So a few things that uh, I guess bother me or you know could be improved upon are relating to the deck build. Um, the smart choke on the engine. And then there's really one thing that just drives me nuts. It's more of just an inconvenience thing. So walking around it here, you know, it's been using abusing a little bit. This is one of the frustrating pieces that, you know, at uh, early on the mower the first year and a half, I was having paint chip off, which now, some things scuff it, but this is just peeling off readily. They replaced the whole entire deck shell at one point because Hustler was saying that the uh, paint line was not set up right and there's some impurities and wasn't getting the metal clean. So they, sent, they put a whole new deck shell on it. And a couple years later now, the paint's chipping off. Not a big deal, cosmetic. You can psst, touch that up. The thing that really frustrates me more than anything is down here. Right down here is the exhaust. And you know, it's cooled off now because it's been sitting, but as you see under here, there is no heat shield. And the only reason that's really a problem is because once you're mowing, that gets really hot. And if you stop anywhere in your yard that is grass and let it sit while you get off and move twigs or something, it kills the grass. Let me show you an example over here in the yard where I had to stop and move something. Now you could pull the tractor clear over there so the gravel does do it or park on some dirt. But if you don't, it's already starting to grow back here, but I parked here and you can see how the big yellow spot is. Essentially the exhaust is hot enough and there being no heat shield there, it burns the grass. A little frustrating and yeah, obviously I do my best to avoid that situation. But you know, if I had a bright green fancy yard and it were to park my mower there and just burn my grass out, I wouldn't be very happy about it. So one thing to keep in mind with this specific one, they've probably fixed on the new one, I don't know, but that's the first time I've seen that be a problem. Overall, the lawnmower has always started, but that smart choke sometimes seems to be finicky. I'd rather have just a little knob I could pull up here to choke it myself because the automatics, you know, 
smart choke, the no priming, self turn key starting, automatic thingy, 12,000. Sometimes it doesn't always seem to work very well. Um, it always ends up starting, but it takes more than it should cranking it over for it to adjust itself and, and get its prime. I don't know what's ever going on inside the, the electronics and the carburetor there. I don't know. But anyways, the electric choke sometimes is problematic. Again, it's always started, but I'd prefer just to have the pull-up choke on it. And really the last big piece that's been an issue that I've resolved has been the discharge on the deck. Now on the SD here, you can kind of see this is just after mowing. This is some stuff that's just stuck on here after this last mowing since I've been done. It's dry since it's been sitting here for a couple hours. But this opening is not what I thought, you know, there is some room for improvement here. Down here on the bottom, this lip catches grass and it builds up in there. Now, normally you're gonna see on these op deck openings, just a nice square opening and it's gonna, you know, come straight out the side. You can see in there, I've got some gator blades, mulching blades, high lift gator blades is what they call them, I believe. And by adding these high lift um, gator blades to it, I'm able to get a better discharge out of the deck and I no longer have issues with that bottom bar clearing. I know I've seen people do some modifications where you cut that out and reinforce the deck. But by design, that's probably one of the biggest frustrating pieces of this one is that if you leave the chute down with the OEM mower blades, the lower lift um, blades, it will clog that chute up. And that's very frustrating. Um, just, I've mowed with you know $12,000 mowers. I've mowed with $2,000 mowers. This is a you know, $4,000 mower. It's a little frustrating and it's kind of a poor deck design. They've changed that since. I don't think that's even an option anymore. And some of the other, S, the other hustlers I've seen, that's not a thing. So I'm not sure what they're thinking about there if they're trying to save money. I don't know, but it's really kind of a poor design and not happy with it. But I was able again to fix it with some different blades and I can kind of prop the chute up just a little bit there. You know, you're not supposed to prop the chutes open. It's a safety thing. Um, but that's probably the biggest piece. And otherwise, it mows well. You know, it, again, you can see over here, it's a nice even cut grass. Um, the deck itself doesn't do a whole lot of striping. You know, by adding a striping kit to it, you're not going to see a whole lot of striping in the yard. You can kind of see tire, tire tracks. But, um, I mean, for a residential mower, it does a very good job mowing. It's never let me down, it's been reliable. And it's been a few things, you know, it's just shy of 200 hours now. It could last me quite a bit longer. I don't think there's a reason why it wouldn't. The engine runs very strong, doesn't burn any oil. Um, and yeah, again, that's just a couple of the things there that have drove me nuts is that the heat shield doesn't do, well, there's no heat shield to do heat shield things. And, it, and if you don't park in a smart area, well, it's gonna probably burn your grass up or whatever it is. You, long story short, that heat shield would be a nice addition to the the bottom here to help prevent some of those issues but obviously it's there must be a reason why they didn't put it on there probably just cost let's be honest otherwise it's been you know a great unit tires are holding up nice front tires look good i don't have a whole lot of issues with traction because my yard's pretty flat in general but this one is kind of a leaker i jugged the corner on something and put a hole in the sidewall i'm going to do the right thing in another video and show you guys how to patch a sidewall because you're not supposed to do that but what's the worst thing that's going to happen it's not really that big of a deal you're going seven miles an hour and it's really not supporting overly that much weight anyway long story short it's been a very very good tractor for me overall does it have its own issues yes but um i think every mower i've ridden on that's a residential mower has its own issues you're paying for what you get you get up in the commercial series i've ran some commercial hustlers before i've ran a couple of john deere commercial ones before ran i've drive drove around and did a little bit of did a little bit of milling with them but i've spent several hundred hours on a grasshopper which are a very good mower too so i haven't really had any negative feedback on those but again you're paying for you know, a much higher class mower than you are on a on a mid-range you know ztr from hustler overall i'm super happy with it um, I definitely would buy it again. I would pay more attention to the deck situation in the future. I know they're constantly evolving and making things better. Um, but that's definitely a little frustrating. I was able to get it resolved with buying different blades, which wasn't a huge deal um, and whatnot. So I would definitely say the mower has been worth the money. 
It's never left me stranded. It does a good, consistent job mowing. Obviously, the more money you spend on a lawnmower, the you know, more accoutrements it's going to have. You know, it's going to have a deeper deck so it can mow taller grass better. You get more vacuum to, to pull the grass up and you know, cut it off. Get higher quality, you know, thicker steels, blah, blah, blah. But for the price of this mower, it does a great job. I would definitely buy it again. And I uh, would recommend you guys to stop out and check out one yourself. Now the actual SD, they've changed things a little bit. They have the SDX and uh, blah de blahs and uh, model 3780. But so far this Hustler Raptor SD with the 54 inch cut and the 25 horse Kohler has been very good. The engine's solid as can be, aside from this smart choke that it works. But again, if I had my choice in the future, I wouldn't be getting an auto choke engine unless it is a fuel injected engine. So. So I hope you guys found this video on the Hustler Raptor SD 54 inch cut residential mower to be informative and helpful. Again, this is my fifth mowing season on it. We're midway through the fifth season, just shy of 200 hours, um, done all the regular scheduled maintenance on it. And uh, it's overall been good, you know, keep an eye on their newer series. They've keep making more and more additions and improvements to these mowers. You take a gander at the newer SDX models. I think that's what they're called. They've got vent slots around these cards that get the grass out. You know, they've improved the seats even more. Um, you know, they just keep making them better, which is what you need to do, fine tune the little things. Because if there's only a few things that make this mower just not perfect in my opinion, again, for the money, we gotta keep preferencing. You can spend a lot more money and get a lot more mower, but for the price range you're looking at, you know, you gotta be realistic. So again, super happy with the mower. Can't say that enough overall it's never let me down and i can see it you know lasting me several hundred more hours you know i don't know why it wouldn't but there's always that itch to get something new so maybe maybe in the future when i get a few things cut up here i'll upgrade myself to the next one just so i can mow the yard a little faster and uh well you know get up on the up on the new uh the new, the new stuff so if you guys found this video informative and helpful i would appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button if you're not a part of the YouTube family, hit that subscribe button to follow along and see more content like this. I do all sorts of stuff on the channel, and um, you know, this has been one of the one of the ones we do. And the hustler stuff, I don't think is going to stop because you guys seem to enjoy it, understanding what you're getting yourself into, and you know, understanding is this type of stuff for you. So I do appreciate you all for stopping in, and you guys know that without you all, this channel doesn't exist. And I have a good time sharing this stuff with you, so you guys can make better informed decisions in the future and uh you know make your money go farther and and don't be surprised when something goes wrong yeah is there issues with this tractor it's not perfect no but i would encourage you to find any other blog of other mower brands to take a look at and say hey you know they've got issues too no one's perfect um i do think hustler's doing the right thing and they're they've been acquired by you know some, a larger company people question about their quality staying the same but it seems to me like they're making improvements doing the right thing and and kind of going on from there. So thanks again for stopping in. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves. If you're like me in a hot area right now, stay cool. I'm gonna go down to the basement, you know, maybe have a cold snack and, and do some video editing in the nice 67 degree air. Thanks again, we'll catch you next time. I'll see ya. All right, time to put this away and get a shower. Yep.